Good evening, this is your AI host, Jay. I'm here with the automatically generated, Jernita, evening headlines on January 30th, 2024. Caitlin Armstrong captured after falling for police trick, detective reveals. The Independent, how was fugitive Caitlin Armstrong caught? She answered U.S. Marshals ad for a yoga instructor. CBS News, new photos show killer yoga teacher Caitlin Armstrong recovering from plastic surgery in Costa Rica, after Mur. Members of Russian anti-war rock band face deportation from Thailand. The Guardian, by two, Russia anti-war band arrested in Thailand faces deportation. BBC, anti-war rock band at risk of being deported to Russia. The Independent, Russian rockers opposed to Ukraine war arrested in Thailand. Fortune, anti-war rock group at risk of deportation to Russia. Russia-Ukraine war, Russia showing no willingness to return power bodies from plane crash, Kyiv says, Zelensky wants, air shield, as it happened. Middle East crisis live, Israeli forces storm Al Amal hospital in Gaza. Biden has, decided, US response to drone attack in Jordan. Vladimir Kara Mirza, fears for Russian activist after secretive jail move. Imran Khan, Pakistan former PM jailed for 10 years in state secrets case. BBC, Imran Khan handed 10 years in prison for leaking state secrets. The Guardian, Pakistan ex-PM Imran Khan sentenced to 10 years jail in state secrets case. Al Jazeera English, Imran Khan sentenced to 10 years in prison ahead of Pakistan election. Financial Times, Imran Khan jailed for 10 years for leaking state secrets. Belgian farmers to block Zeebrugge port as French protests spill over. Reuters, tractors block major roads as siege of Paris begins. BBC, everyone is affected, pressure grows on French government to strike deal with farmers. The Guardian, France tractor protests live, Macron blames Ukraine war for fueling French farming crisis. The Telegraph, Europe's farmers are dealing with rising costs and cheaper imports. Their anger is simmering and it won't take much to boil. Israel-Gaza war, aid agencies, outraged, by, reckless, decision to cut UNRWA funding. The Guardian, after pausing funds for UNRWA, Canada announces C-40 million dollars in new aid for Gaza. The Times of Israel, time to shut down this anti-Semitic UN body. The Times, UNRWA tells Ynet, when our budget runs out next month, Israel can take care of Gazans. Annette News, UN workers in Gaza kidnapped Israeli women and gave weapons to Hamas. At least half of Gaza's buildings damaged or destroyed, new analysis shows. BBC, as a Syrian I feel the pain of Palestinians as their homes and lives are destroyed. This is domicide. The Guardian, opinion, domicide, the mass destruction of homes should be a crime against humanity. The New York Times, how war destroyed Gaza's neighborhoods, visual investigation, Gaza. The Guardian, Israel-Gaza war, counting the destruction of religious sites. This was all for the news. Thanks for listening. Please do not forget to like and subscribe.